Hello everybody, I'm just going to do a quick review here. I, in the last video I showed uh, that the transformer had gone out and some people had commented that they felt that I had just hooked it up wrong. And if you'd noted in the video I was mentioning that I had the schematic, I just had never showed it. So I wanted to show it here. This is for the original Philco radio. All of these colors matched, but not only that, if you look, uh, on this left side is the primary. You'll see it says WH and WH, that's for white. And over on the far right side, I've got color codes that list WH as white as well. Uh, and it said 4 ohms, so I did. A, I actually tested that, and it did definitely turn out at 4 ohms. Similarly, for the main uh, yellow, yellow, and then green here on the uh, what goes into pins four and six on that winding, which would be the high, uh, the the five volts, that definitely measured also as 100 volts roughly each. They were off a little, like 98 and one and 102 or something on the other. And then when I measured from yellow to yellow, I got 200-ish ohms as well. Uh, similarly to the black and black, I got a, a very small amount of ohms uh, near continuity. So I, I was able to easily confirm these these were the correct ones that I was hooking up. Also, I have black going to all heaters except V4 and V5, and that's because V4 and V5 are 7 volt heaters. And then this says heaters of V4 and V5 were the red, uh, and then they have a center tap that was brown. So uh, those were not needed um, in any way, shape, or form, uh, and were not set up to actually do anything specific. So I hooked up uh, and was getting very weird voltages. The yellow ones were giving me, uh, oh, actually, I, did, I didn't check the yellow. I was getting, I think over here on this this black and black, I was getting extremely weird voltages, 200 or so. And it should have been more like, I think, 360 or 340. And then also on my, these black ones, that should have been 3.6 volt or 6.3 volts, I was getting 100 and something. So there was something somewhere short-circuiting across the, the entire transformer. Uh, and so the, obviously there's something that had gone terribly bad with this and it was extremely old, extremely rusty uh, and I pulled it from one that had not been plugged in and I think they'd mentioned for you know a good 20, 30, 40 years probably so it just had aged to the point where everything on it had gone bad. So I've replaced it and so now I'm going to show a little bit more video talking about that replacement process. Thanks everybody. Appreciate the input. Okay, so today we're going to now look at the new transformer. I had to cut everything out. I'm a little, you know, trying to get these to fit in my on my own has never been fun, but I got it. So now I've got green for heaters, yellow for five volt, red for the high. Uh, I'm sorry, yellow for the five volt. Yeah, uh, red for the high volt. Black is the primary, or is the you know the primary side that we'll hook in. So one half will connect here, the other half will connect is, uh, over to this side over here. So uh, I've got it already set up so that this side is the fused side which is also connected to black and then this so effectively we're now going to quickly start going through and connecting all those up so uh, now and then once I get that connected in I will then check my voltages again and make sure they look good but they should at that point with a, a new transformer well actually I don't need to waste my time it's a new transformer that should be fine so uh, yeah so we'll just start getting all that put together Now we will do the high voltage. So I'm going to cut one lead a little early here, about uh, here. Now I can cut. Kind of by the way, go ahead and get that. And there we have that, soldered in good. All right, so we've got the primary side done and the heater's done to here. I will then run some heater wires over to these guys and across, of course, but for now, the heaters are done. The hot high duct's done. This will be a center tap that connects down here, but we will first sort out
Alrighty then. Two and eight are done with the five volt or with the five volts. And the of course out outgoing that will come here and connect over to that lead area. Okay, after that, cool, they'll be able to shift those wires more over to that corner, but we'll trim up that area as well. All right, so last here is gonna be bringing the center tap down to there. I don't need a lot of room, so. I'll cut it off a little bit further. Right here. Oop, I'm about to lose my, there we go. Center tap grounded. All right. So, with that, we should now have transformer wired in. This will connect to our board, but I need to do heaters before I do anything else. What I might do, let's see. I need to get some wire prep, so we'll stop recording for a minute, but I'm gonna do my heaters next, and then we'll move on from there. All right, I'm back in business now, so let's go ahead and start doing the heaters. And then I'm gonna run this, once that cools, I'll run this down across here, and over to these heaters, and then over. Alright, at that point I'm going to take a little bit of a break and we'll come back to this after I've had a chance to take a rest for a bit.